know people talk about having an issue with you know the 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 worry of the blank page or the blank canvas and I never have that sense I have more the sense that I'm never going to get to all of the ideas that I have uh, that I'm going to run out of time mm -hmm. originally started off doing photography and working at a fine art photography gallery and I realized uh, after a certain point that the technical part of I was going to be able to say what I needed to say faster with a paintbrush so I kind of made that transition I, I, I had done photography and painting always together and once I made the transition to paint, uh, and specifically oil painting, I studied as much as possible like the process of other artists who I admired. I think sometimes my reference uh, work that I rely on ultimately has absolutely nothing to do with what comes out uh, in my work, but there are keys, there are clues in there that help me problem solve. And I love that process of figuring out solutions. And it's something that makes me feel like I have an action that I can take. And I love the idea of pursuing that. So in terms of my aesthetic, uh, um, there's tons and tons and tons of light. I uh, surround myself with as much color as, as I can. I like to change things around a lot in terms of color, in terms of art. Um, I use my home as my gallery space. And so I try out pieces in different locations to see, are they done? Uh, to get a long shot of them, to live with them for a while. So um, art is always moving around. Nothing is ever finished, in my opinion. No painting is ever done. There's always like little bits that I sort of discover out of the corner of my eye. Uh, a painting I might have looked at for, you know, five years. I just in passing by, uh, one day we'll say, oh, I know exactly what that needs. It just needs this little bit. It feels like a communication. It feels like you're in looking at someone's art or tasting their food uh, or reading their, their books. You're hearing them. You're, you're respecting them. thing is you know my vision has changed over time I've had a couple of bouts of um, optic neuritis which is a sudden uh, vision change and from neurological condition which is the same reason I can't feel my hands much and and that I have to sit a lot um, and that's might be part of my chair obsession. I haven't ever figured that out really, just knowing that um, I, I love them and uh, they speak to me.
and so I, part of that might be just because I, you know, I have to say it a lot. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's that's the the ongoing obsession, the ongoing process, and sometimes I just look and look and look for a long time and make you know a couple of small marks and say that's it for this one for this day I think that it's evolved as I have uh, started curating shows I love that collaborative part of it Putting together a show for a, a call to art is one of my favorite things, actually. Throw out an idea, and then you see what happens, what comes in, and there's no controlling that, and there's opposite of a painting. A, an exhibit has a definite timeline and a definite finish, and you're, you you have to make a decision and then it is uh, what it is and I think that's really good for me to, to have to adhere to that. I can't help myself. I have always needed to do it. There is a sense of accomplishment, a sense of control that uh, making work allows me to have. I don't feel like I can have much control in the rest of the world. Uh, events that are happening, um, illness. Painting is a thing that I have ultimate uh, control over and the, the very basic drive is to make something beautiful. Knowing that I have the space to myself, that I don't have to stop and start, and that's an impossibility. My, my son is 17 now, um, but I certainly was painting before he was born and and since he's been born. So carving out uh, uninterrupted time is essential. Music, I listen to music when I paint. That's just always been something that helps me to uh, get ready and get engaged and prepare. Great light, um, the ability to make a mess to not have to worry or be precious. Those are essential. Let's see, favorite pajamas that wore through. It's my son's um, sheets from when he was little. So I love the reminder. I love the um, being able to, you know, this little scrap of cloth that I use to move paint around on my canvas reminds me of when he was still in a crib. Um, everything, you know, gets used um, up until there's really no use uh, left. Um, and in this case, these uh, sort of remind me, they're, they're the evidence of my effort and they become almost like abstractions in and of themselves. So I haven't been able to um, throw them away because I, I sort of like the, the abstraction that they create. I think one of the biggest things that I've learned for myself is that it's just about the work. It's not, that's the most important thing. Just make the work, do the work. It doesn't matter if nobody sees it. It doesn't um, you know, ultimately you would like for a viewer to get to experience it and respond to it, but in reality, the important thing is just doing the work and being uh, 
consistent with your process. Thank you.